What is going on guys? Welcome to another video on my channel here, Licious If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay updated on the progress for my second hair transplant, which I had about 10 days ago, as well as video topics pertaining to celebrity hair loss and hair loss treatments in the pipelines, um, including Follica, we have Dr. Suji, and a bunch of other companies that are currently in the works for looking for better hair loss treatments. So I wanted to give you guys uh, a 10-day update, 10-day post-op since my uh, FUE hair transplant procedure in South Korea. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am pretty tired. I actually just landed last night and I went straight to work. Um, and so forgive me if I look kind of rugged in this video. I'm actually also on the harsh light so that you guys can get a better, a better view of my hair. But I wanted to share with you guys the 10 day post-op results. Um, it's been healing up really well. The redness has gone down quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can tell from the video here, but I mean, even at day 10, just I just I'm just amazed at how well the scalp um, is healing. And if you guys are closely, you guys can see all of the single hair grafts in the front portion of the hairline, and it's reinforced with the multi grafts in the back. And my favorite part is this temple point right here. Notice how the native hairs flow this way. And if you look here, all of the hairs are also pointing in the correct uh, direction and angle. So I'm really looking forward to the results. Um, I'm pretty excited to really be able to, you know, see how much dense the hairline is going to be as well as, um, you know, different styles of hairs that I can do once the hairs are fully grown in around my i want to say about around month eight or month nine it's usually when people get to see their final results um so on the last day uh when i was in south korea i actually went to the clinic i went back to the clinic again to get the scabs removed and this was done at day nine so i've been very careful over the past few days just to make sure that i don't dislodge anything but once you get past around day eight or nine, the hairs are pretty much permanently anchored into the scalp. So you don't have to worry too much. But when I did go to the clinic, they actually um, shampooed my hair and then helped remove most of the scabs. So that's why you don't see any scabs. You might see one or two. I think there's a few that are still there, but most of them are pretty much uh, fallen off. And it's looking really good as each day goes by. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a video. I actually uh, recorded the whole process for the shampooing process. So for those who've actually had a hair transplant and very interested in how Motion Clinic washes and cleans and removes the, sc uh, the scabs, I will probably post that tomorrow or sometime this weekend. Also, I recorded uh, pretty much my whole hair transplant procedure you know, starting from the hairline design to creating the slits, uh, the extractions, and then the implantation. So I'm going to be uploading all of that good stuff so that you guys can uh, pretty much see my documentary of my second hair transplant journey. So please uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if I talked about this in my previous video, but as far as density, I got somewhere between 50 to 55 centimeters uh per or 50 to 55 grafts per centimeter squared so that's roughly about 100 hair follicles per centimeter squared which is more than enough for a dense looking hairline um the other thing that i wanted to share with you guys is i did notice some shock loss is um in the frontal portion of my hairline so Shock loss typically happens when there's some type of trauma, in this case, um, during the hair transplantation process, when the hairs were implanted in surrounding areas. So when I was actually washing my hair um, or shampooing it, I would actually get strands of hairs on my hands. And I actually just got two right now. I don't know if you guys can see, but these two strands uh, actually fell out when I was just 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 doing this lightly it's not like i was actually trying to pull my hair or anything like that but just by going over this i did notice some shock loss that's why when you guys take a look at my hair when i put it down in the front it's barely covering the forehead 
Um, you see all these gaps right here. And that's one of the issues when it comes to hair transplantation. Uh, people who have more of a moderate type of hair loss and that end up getting hair transplant, they're not going to be able to properly style their hair as far as putting it down just because the density is just lacking. And that's why you see a lot of people, um, they, that end just, you know, they just end up putting their hairs up. But in my case, hopefully I have enough density to be able to, you know, try putting down my hair. But this is how it looks as a result of shock loss, uh, temporary shock loss, the hairs will grow back in, you know, you know, in a few months. Uh, but yeah, I've been putting this down just to cover um, any redness that anybody might be able to see. The sides, you can't really tell, but yeah, this is how it looks. Um, so just one last view of the hairline. Now these hairs are, for the most part, going to fall off within the next couple weeks. And then they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be growing back in about three to four months. So all this here is gonna fall off. And let me see if I can show you guys the donor area. Here's the side view. And then the back of the scalp. So, I mean, like I said, at this point, you guys can't really see much just because the hairs are so grown in. Um, but I'm pretty amazed at the fact that, you know, when I got my first hair transplant, I actually had to wear a beanie for about two months just so that I can cover up the redness, um, just so that people wouldn't, you know, notice that I actually had a hair transplant, especially at work. Um, but this second hair transplant procedure was just awesome, and it just... There's barely any redness and I just put my hair down and just went straight to work and nobody even knew that I had anything done. Um, so I'm pretty content and I know that as the days go by, the redness is going to subside and you guys won't even be able to tell that I actually even had anything done. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for the update. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to leave some comments in the comment section below. Um, also, you guys can reach me at hairlicious at gmail.com. In my next video, I'm also going to be talking about Follica, uh, their FO004, and um, I'm also going to be doing some more of the celebrity hair loss or hair transplant videos. So if you guys have anything in mind, please make sure to reach out, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Take care.